It is impossible to read through the Bible without being struck by the amount of times that something miraculous happens. There's the parting of the Red Sea, people seeing or walking for the first time, or even something as drastic as someone being raised from the dead. And as we read through these different miracles, we can't help but wonder how they actually could have happened, why God was using them, and whether or not they still happen today. Now, when we talk about miracles in the Bible, we're not referring to mere coincidences or occurrences, such as narrowly missing that car that ran the red light. No, a biblical miracle was an intentional suspension of the laws of the universe in order for God to accomplish a very specific purpose. Usually this was done through prophets like Moses or Elijah, although it's important to emphasize that while the prophets were the ones that performed the miracle, God was really the one with the power to work through them. Such as in Acts 2 verse 22, which says, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God unto you by mighty works and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you. So without God working through them, these prophets never could have performed the miraculous, and Jesus of Nazareth is a prime example. As you read through the miracles and the healings of Jesus, you notice that in every case, he does it to advance God's purpose in some way. Instead of turning the stones into whatever food he liked or doing really cool things in order to draw a crowd, Jesus used miracles to show compassion, to illustrate the things he was teaching to the people, to validate his divinity, and also to foreshadow the kingdom that was to come. In fact, these healings that Jesus performed often left him physically drained, which led him to seek solace and strength through prayer and solitude. Going further, every miracle that Jesus performed was meant to teach a spiritual lesson to the people. Every sickness that he healed was a symbol of sin and the way in which Jesus took it upon himself to cure the whole problem of sin. And so as the people witnessed these healings, they saw this living parable of what Jesus was able to do for the most potent sickness of all, the disease of sin and death. Following Jesus' death and resurrection, the power to perform miracles was given to the apostles in order to kickstart the spread of the gospel. Like Jesus, they performed healings to show that God was undeniably with them and that the things they were saying could be trusted. With God working wonders through them, the apostles played a foundational role in spreading the gospel throughout the world, in setting up churches, and in encouraging believers in their newfound faith. Which brings us to the all-important question of whether or not miracles still happen today. The answer to which is not exactly. Though God no longer works through the means of men to perform miraculous healings or supernatural events, that's not to say that God isn't working in the lives of individuals and can sometimes do incredible things. But just because we might never see water turn to wine or the Red Sea parted doesn't mean that there's no longer reason to believe in God. In fact, miracles never really worked that way in the people that saw them. It was said that the people in Jesus' time wouldn't believe even if someone rose from the dead. And that's exactly what happened. What every believer in every age has come to realize is that it's not about the grand, it's not about the miraculous, but it's about the power of the still small voice. Real power and faith in God comes from a simple and thoughtful meditation on his word. And if we can do that, then God can perform a real and present day miracle in us by transforming our thinking and our character to be more like his own. And one day, he'll even change our nature so that we never struggle with the effects of mortality ever again.